Rick Reichmuth is mesmerized. He passes certain By the hot age, air balloons. And he's out at the Reddington, New Jersey Balloon Fest. <laughs> Rick, you're standing by this cannon. What is this cannon behind you? Yeah, so not only is it a balloon festival, but the cannon lady is here. I am going to turn this over to her. She's about to be shot out of this. Cannon lady, Jennifer Smith, take it away. Good afternoon. I guess it's not even afternoon. Good morning, everybody, here at the Quick Check Balloon Festival. How are you? Awesome. Can we all on the count of three say, good morning, Fox and Friends? One, two, three. Good morning, Fox and Friends. Woohoo! I love it. All right. What you're going to see me do is we're going to raise this barrel up to a 45 degree angle. Once I'm up in that position, I'll put my helmet on, slide the whole 28 foot length into the firing chamber. I go from an absolute standstill to just moving in the air in a split second. I will leave the barrel at about 32 miles an hour, reaching a peak upwards of 58 feet high. I come down in that net, roughly carrying the same speed. So it's very imperative that I land in exactly the right position because the cannon is gonna get me where I want to be. It all depends on me to land. So once I climb down inside the barrel, it's gonna take just a moment I'll get in position, and we will give you guys a countdown backwards from five. At that time, if I could ask everybody here to go ahead and count along with us so I can hear it inside would be great. What do you think? You guys want to see me fly? Awesome. I'm really excited you guys came out. What a beautiful event, and I love being here. So I'm very excited to go ahead and show you what I do. I will tell you that as a family, I am a second-generation human cannonball. I grew up watching my father fly through the air, and I started my professional career 28 years ago. 17 different countries, and I've logged more than 2,000 flights easy. However, I'm still quite nervous each and every time because there is a tremendous amount of danger and pressure inside this cannon if you are not prepared for it. So even though I've launched many times, it's still very, very nerve-wracking. So I'm going to pass the microphone on to my husband, and we're going to keep going with this show. If you have any questions afterwards, come up and say hi to me. I'd love to meet each and every one of you. Again, thank you for coming out to the Quick Check Balloon Festival here in New Jersey. Appreciate it. I, I was curious, how do you get good at something like like, like sword swallowing? Like, how do you, what's like the first time you That's right. Or Maybe, you know, walking, if your mom or, or dad was a sword swallower, then you become a sword swallower, kind of like here. It really is kind right. of a medieval first tradition. Man. So I guess if you're a cannon being shot out of a cannon in your family. to raise the barrel, which Jennifer just gave me, so we're, we're going that. up with the barrel. All right, so Jennifer about to climb into the long muzzle of this cannon. And we should note, it's a muzzle-loading cannon. This is an old-fashioned cannon. She's one of only three known human cannonballs. Female. Yeah. A mighty gun. Jen's doing the walk of fade up the barrel to the tip where she'll be teetering. She's being shot right through the, the glass ceiling this Once morning, ladies and gentlemen. You guys, <laughs> make the signal to make this is like, a, a, like a couple hundred yards over to the net that will catch her. And think about this actually because tonight on Fox at 8 p.m., Aikens is going to be jumping out of that aircraft at 25,000 feet, and he's going to land in a net without a parachute. No parachute, no wingsuit. Right, no wingsuit. This woman is brave. By the way, where do you get a human noise. cannon? Jen to get in this thing. The, the gun or at yeah, the human the cannon store? What a great That's not crowd. something you can get and at Bass Pro. Once she slides down in, there'll be a moment what of silence as we take all the safeties off and get it ready to fire. When I come back on the mic, I'll need everybody's help with the countdown backwards from five to fire. There's the net. A couple everybody hundred yards away. Everybody help with the help with us uh, with the countdown at home. I'm a little. Nervous actually, right now. She's about to go. It's the largest summertime hot air balloon and music festival all in right. all of North America. All are up on the inside and we are if you're just to joining us, a woman is about to launch this down. cannon at 32 Five, miles an hour. Four, Did you think you'd see three, this on a Saturday morning? Two, one, one blast off! Wow. Woo. Wow. Woo. Would you do that? What a no. landing. That it's takes some salt. guts. That was impressive. All right, cannon lady, good right. shot. The will come out and she can hear you, Jennifer the cannon lady. Oh, As a family business, that's not really scalable. <laughs> no, no, it's not. Watch the dismount. Like to meet and greet She's gonna come perfect. Back to the Look at that. Like a gymnast. Very nice. Human artillery for you. Wow. Thanks for watching our show. It's a good show. <laughs> well, up next, when the socialists are away, the capitalists will play. Wall Street donors coming out of the woodwork now that Hillary is the nominee and Bernie is 